and welcome to another video about painting Epic 40,000. Today we're going to look at painting boys, orc infantry at the 6mm scale. In particular, these are going to be snake bites. So, snake bites had a look online, don't really like where they are in this modern age, all very grim dark and not very cool in my opinion. I want them to have more of a early to mid 90s kind of feel to them. So lots of bright colours and a um, bit of character to them. That being said, uh, we're going to have some sort of uniformity to them so you can differentiate them from the other clans and such. So this in front of you is a normal mob um, using the Armageddon rules. So, two stands of knobs, six stands of boys, two grots. At the back, there's an additional stand, which has a odd boy on it. I've chucked him in with these because he's actually going to be with the big guns. Um, in in that rule system, if you put an odd boy with your big guns, you can change them to super guns, make them basically a bit better, as he tells them what to do. Uh, but yeah, so how we're going to do this, as you can see, they've all got their sand on them. They've all been given a coat of grey sear. It's a spray can of Games Workshop grey sear. And the grey sear has been used. One, it's it's a nice base base coat. Um, I like it. It's, it's a primer. But secondly, we're going to use some contrast. Now, we're only going to use two contrast paints for these boys. Because they're snake bites, I kind of like the idea of them having kind of animal hides, kind of tanned leather um, appearance to them. So there's a contrast called snake bite leather. And it's going to be most of what their clothing is. And then we're going to use War Boss Green, which is going to do the, all their flesh. Um, except for the grots, the grots, the Gretchen at the front. I'll be doing, like I did in a previous video, I'll paint their flesh yellow and then use a regular green. And they'll be lighter skinned than the boys. And then once that's done, what I'm going to do is, to keep it with that earlier um, edition of, of Snake Bites in 2nd edition 40k and the early lore to orcs from the 90s, is go in with some blues and yellows and reds and greens and pick out bits of their clothing to make them more colourful um, and a bit more characterful. In regards to these, the six stands of boys are mostly second edition Space Marine boys. Um, so they're a little bit smaller, but they're standard boys with a bolter, with a bayonet on the front of it and that's correct it is a bolter from the, 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 the from that time um, but it became shooters from Gorka Morka third edition yeah third edition so yeah but in this period they're, they're bolters <laughs> um, now these two fellows here are the war boss the knobs so you see they're a little bit different what I've done here is Instead of using the normal knobs that you get for 6 mil orcs, which came in, I think, Epic 40k, and then continued right up until Games Workshop stopped supporting it, they have mega armor. I didn't want that for these because they kind of don't do the technology. So I had a f small amount, not, a very, not very many, but I had a small amount of the old Wild Boys. So I've used them as the knobs. With a wee shield and a wee chopper. Um, on one side we've got a weird boy shaman of some sort, an odd boy. Um, fitting for the for the snake bites who back then, again the lore, they, they used a lot of mad boys and weird boys and odd boys like that. So that's why he's there. But the, he, he isn't actually going to be rules wise a weird boy, it's just a stand of, of knobs. And then this side, he the big war boss in the center got a mad dock on this side and uh Rutherand 
I think that is, or a, a mech, but just a bit of character to them, and two more wild boys on either end, because that's all the wild boys I have, unfortunately, so I thought, well, I'll group all the wild boys together, and they can be the knobs, and I think that kind of brings them nicely together. So, if we focus again, which I don't think we are, regardless, I'm going to get the, these painted. So, I'll come back in a mo, um, but the first stage will be to ink all the sand, the dark brown, and then we're going to go in, put the snake bite on all their clothes, and put the green war boss on all their skin. And they're both contrasts, and they should be fairly quick to do. After that, we'll come back and have a look at them before we get into the guns and their choppers and any other extra wee details we want to do. And then after that, we'll get some extra colours onto them and brighten them up. Okay, so what I would call the tedious part, which is doing the kind of factory line of just the same colours over and over again is kind of done. Uh, we got the brown on, we got the orc flesh on, and now we're ready to build some character into these models. <clears throat> Inked all the sand, let it dry. Now Grace here, the spray can, also comes in a little pot. And I have that, so anywhere that I went over with the ink on the sand over the model themselves, once it was dry, I just touched up that before I started going in with the contrasts. So snake bite on the boys, all of them got the snake bite. And as you see there, if it focuses, gives a bit of depth, a wee bit of shade to the to the browns. And then once that was dry, anywhere that I covered hit the flesh, I just went in with Grace here, touched it up, and then went in with the orc flesh. I think I said called it War Boss earlier on. It's actually, it, the contrast paint's actually called orc flesh. So that's them ready for the next stage which is nice um the grots at the front you'll see are yellow i haven't gone in and washed their flesh yet they've had the same kind of technique though i uh, went in with the with the brown got all their wee clothes and pants on or trousers should i say and they're ready for the next step as well so in this case i've done a video in the past I'm trying to get in the description or something um Painting grots, I always paint them yellow, regardless of the scale, yellow, and then a nice green wash. In my case, I think it's bile tan green I use, and it, it makes them a lot lighter than the orcs. So we'll get their flesh on, and then the next stage is the fun part, and it's building a bit of character and putting a bit of colour into them. So I've left most of the shoulder pads, the grey sear, the big bazookas, the always reminded me of plasma cannons, I don't know why, for orcs, but the, the big gun at the ends, get a bit of colour on them, and their shooters, bolters, and um, we'll get them done. So, we're going to go with a couple of colours, primarily red, blue, yellow, and green. Um, and this is a, a theme I've done with other snake bites that I've done. Now, the snake bites that I have already painted is really just... Their, their, their Gargant, which is a giant squig off, and their little normal squig offs. Other than that, the rest of the army is completely bare, hasn't been touched. So to keep them in line with the with the other bits that I've painted, uh, we're going very colourful. No, no, just standard one colour. Not like uh, Evil Suns, where everything's pr primarily red, or Bad Moons, where everything's primarily yellow. No, these guys just have loads of different colours. Um, to keep them in that kind of second edition, early 90s vibe of being very colourful and bright. So, <clears throat> with Orc Infantry uh, in Epic, I find that the big gun is really good for, for having fun with. It's a big cylinder at the end. You can paint designs on it and do whatever you like to it, put motifs and such on it. So, we're going to have a bit of fun with that. And... The brown will tie them all together as a uniform on the underside. So they, they all have this brown base to them all. But shoulder pads, guns, and um, anything else I want to do, the wild boy shields and such, 
will all be randomized with colors. Um, and yeah, we'll come back when I've got that on. So again, really just going for four colors here. Get them on, and then the final stage probably just be um, the metal work. So rune fang steel on um, the magazines of the guns, anywhere I want to put like belt buckle on or something like that at six mil might be a bit mad but yeah we'll just go and pick out some of the metal details where we need to okay so we'll come back um and we'll see the finished results and here's the finished snake bites They're really colorful looking vibrant with the with the four colors onto the over the base brown and they're 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 done uh, got the sand finished, my usual technique of uh, Zandari dust with a wee bit of shanty bone over it. And then around the rim of the of the stand is a darker brown just to neaten it up. But the boys are all done and a lot brighter than what they were. And they definitely stand out from the other work boys that I would have because they aren't so uniform. Well, as uniform as orcs can get. So taking a look at them, we'll start with the grots. As I said, they were yellow. I inked the green baltan on them just once. If we can get that to focus. So with the grots, I've kind of kept them just brown. There's no real other colours on them. Um, because they're grots and they're, they're treated poorly probably for the most part. So uh, they've just got brown rags on essentially and their weapons are runefang steel with uh, balthazar gold dabbed in here and there just to kind of give the guns a bit of a higgly piggly look but i i love that green over the yellow it, it just looks great on on grots and then the boys so as i said um we we're just going to randomize the four color the four primary colors the red blue green and yellow and just pick pick out bits and bobs of the boys uh so that's what we've done here so as you can see the brown is all their their trousers and their wee body suits um and then just randomly going in and picking out bits and bobs to be different colors <coughs> so shoulder pads that circle on their back there's a wee like i think it's a wee flap of armor or something above their right arm just below the shoulder pad uh it just put a line of paint in there and just making sure that there's plenty of different colors on them they say nearly all the stands have a green shooter a yellow shooter a red shooter a blue shooter and then the bazooka at the end and again the bazooka at the end the big gun just have fun with it. So that one's red with a couple of blue stripes down it. Just to make it stand out a bit. Um, this one is red with uh, like a blue spiral effect on it. And again, it's whatever way you really want to do it. But in my case, I mean, it's just this. I, I use one brush, a detail brush, and it's just making sure your paint's thin with a bit of water and having a wee bit of a steady hand and taking your time and if you mess up because they're so small because i can tell you now i messed that up that one specifically um it's just going back and repainting it red and trying again that, that's that's it uh having a wee bit of a steady hand and having an idea so that's the boys they're all different colors and very snake bite looking for the for the period for the early 90s i think um the war boss stand quite happy with how it turned out uh it's got a couple of extra colors that i didn't use on the boys specifically for the war boss he's got a bit of gold on his banner and a bit of white and again free handing in the snake bite symbol and that's done um by drawing four horizontal lines and then zigzagging back and forth and drawing in three vertical lines again freehand thinned your thin my black paint down and just stuck my tongue out held my breath and hoped that i didn't cock it up so that's them and then the other knobs which are mostly the 
The Wild Boys, really love the Wild Boy, Boy model. They're so nice. Picked out the shields mostly for adding lots of colours onto them. As you see, the wee bodysuits that they've got on the are, are predominantly brown for their snake bite leathery look. So the boys are done. <clears throat> it's just a normal mob using Armageddon rules and really all they need now is transports. So I'm thinking I might do a couple of videos and take this army from not being painted to being fully done. I'll show you the steps I take to do that. So what I've done for this army so far, because really it hasn't been done, um, there's these boys and I have painted in these, which are squiggas. Now there were older squiggas back in the day that looked like giant rats. These are the ones that look like reptiles all armoured up and following the same four colours to match them all in. So, the red, blue, green, yellow. <coughs> that's on the infantry, that's on the armour of the Squigas. And I've also got, if I move these boys forward, the big Squigas. So that's what I've got painted so far for this army. Um, so next on the list is the boys' vehicles. So, that ends this video, really. I'm kind of happy with how the boys are turned out. And the effect that I've managed to get off on them. Next on the list, though, the next video I will do will be on these boys. Well, these boys, these vehicles, which are... The trucks for all these lads to run about in, drive about in. So, come back for the next video where we'll look at how to paint orc battle wagons. Not the usual, not these ones. Because, my God, I have so many of these ones. I decided to push the boat out and get some different variants before I went mad painting the same battle wagon over and over again a hundred times so yeah we'll have a wee talk about these that are not games workshop and how we're going to go about painting them i hope you enjoyed this hope you like the infantry i think it looks good i think it looks good i hope to get them out on the table and have some fun with them go whine about and stomping things so thanks for watching bye hello and welcome to another video about Epic 40,000 Hobby. So in this video, we're going to look at battle wagons, or trucks. So last video, we painted up the boys. A uh, normal sized mob using the Armageddon rules. So it's two knobs, six boys, six stands of boys, six, two stands of knobs, and two stands of grots. And to transport all that, you need four wagons. Uh, the grots just get to ride for free. Each wagon can hold two stands. So in that version of the game, you need one wagon per two stands. So you need four wagons. So these wagons I got from eBay. These are 3D printed. I found a fella on there and he does three 3D printed wagons. Not much else to say. They're lovely. And for scale, they're a decent size. I mean, this is your classic battle wagon of the time. It's great looking. I've got no issues with it. I just have hundreds of them. Well, maybe not hundreds. About 30 or 40 of the bugger and things. They all look identical. And I did a video about making a car dealership where all the boys go and buy them because I've got so many of them. Most of the clans on Orc World have these wagons. But Snake Bites, the lore for Snake Bites is they reject modern things and they like that old ways. So, with that and said, I got some of these newer wagons, these 3D printed wagons, and 
the idea behind that is they build their own wagons. They like the old traditional style. They don't like these super duper fast looking badass ones with the skull on the front of them. They really are heavy metal like. That is the, I mean, that should be in modern 40k. Why, why Games Workshop don't make that anymore? I have no idea. That's so cool. Anyway, looking at our trucks, our battle wagons. So these are 3D printed. They come in two parts. You get the wagon and then you get the flatbed at the back. Now, I've sprayed these lead belter. The other side is not sprayed. Um, but I'll go in with a paintbrush and just do that myself. They are very small. And you probably hear my dogs running about. Shh. Anyway, um, battle wagons. So we're doing them snake bites. So as I said in previous video, there's basically we're wanting that nineties vibe. So we're sticking with the four colors: the red, blue, green, and yellow. So if we look at these battle wagons, we'll look at him. He's kind of. He's an armoured one. He's not open to the air. This will be the knob one. So this fellow who 3D prints these, um, they're fairly cheap. They didn't cost very much. And I think I got eight of them. There's little triangles of extra armour on them. And the engine appears to be open to the air. You see that we... Um, supercharger on the front of it and the radiator grill and yeah it's it's a little wagon so plenty of scope to to flesh them out and do some detail on them so we've got them lead belted up so what the plan will be is we'll get them all washed with a nice black wash no oil after that, I think we'll go back in and we'll dry brush it with a roofing steel to really highlight up the metal. And then we're just going to go in with the four colours at random and randomly pick out the triangles of extra armour and like the flatbed, the, the, these little armoured plates and just really um, tie them in with the rest of the armies, with the rest of the, the snake bite army, sure, should I say. Um, cannot complain about them for the price. There's very little flash on them. If you eBay orc battle wagons, you'll you'll find the guy who's selling these on eBay fast enough, fast enough um, postage, and yeah, they they're lovely. They'll they're a lot cheaper than trying to get the original old metal battle wagons from Epic. 40,000 I think they came in. I've got a couple of them. Not very many, unfortunately. Uh, but they're very, very expensive to get now. People are just charging stupid money. So, I mean, by all means, use these. Because these are these are metal. These are, these are rock and roll. I love these. Um, but if you don't want to go mental and just sit and paint these over and over and over again, by all means... Look at these ones, because they they fit the job perfectly. Um, so yeah, got the basic lead belter on. Going to wash them, dry brush them up, and then I'll come back and show how they look, and then we'll pick out the colours and get them a little bit colourful looking, and tie them into the rest of the army for our mob of boys. All right. So this is our four trucks, lead belted up, wash of known oil, and then a decent dry brush of room fang steel. And it's given the depth, shadowing, made it look a wee bit grimy, I suppose, as well. So nothing fancy here, a bit of blue tack and a paint pot that I'm not using. Cheap, has worked for me for years and years and years. So next step, Keep them in line with the boys that we've already done for the snake bites. So, like these fellas, we're going to go with the same colours. So, red, a blue, green, and a yellow, which is essentially what these boys all are. And exactly the same colours will be on these trucks. 
So, what we're going to do is we're basically going to pick out the details. So the little triangles and these girders around the, the armour casing and any armour plates that we see. Just going to randomise it and pick out certain colours. The only additional real colours that I'll be adding to this will probably be a copper for the engine block. Pick out some of the some of the bits of the engine block and black for the wheels, black tyres. Really that will be it. That should get them done, looking decent and ready to go. As I say, we're not going for a display amazing top end golden demon style paint job we're going for it looks pretty decent on the tabletop and i'm more than happy with that especially when you've got massive armies to paint yeah it would be lovely to sit and take the time to get them all the way up to that display standard but you never finish it unless you're planning only ever doing one army your entire life and this is one of six orc armies that i plan to have done as i say next step we'll get those colors on and that should hopefully finish them and then we'll move on to the next step which will be for the snake bites anyway boars or the big guns that i've got either way we'll come back in a moment and you'll see them pretty much finished trucks are finished and here they are with their boys so this wee mob is completely done now well, the infantry's painted and the trucks are painted to go along with them, all keeping in that very bright, multicoloured kind of pattern that we want for our <clears throat> snake bites from the early 90s. Nice bright patterns and, um, yeah, kind of getting that, that feeling down of a bit of a retro kind of vibe to them all. The trucks themselves, let's have a look at one of them. Um, so, uh, same same thing as I did with the infantry. Kind of kept the four colours. Went and put on one, put on the other, put on the third, put on the fourth. Yellow, blue, green and red. <clears throat> Started with the red, then went to blue, then went to green, then went to yellow. And then we go back over. So, to put... You see the red on there over the green. I had to go back to the red to do that type of thing. And then once that was all done, it was the black on the tires. And then I actually ended up using three metallics. Went and put in the Roomfang steel again over the washed areas just to have brighten up some parts. Used the Balthazar gold from a copper on the engine block. And then I actually did use some, some actual gold paint just to brighten up some areas and break it up a little bit further and then you'll see that I've battle damaged it, kind of chipped the paint and it's really easy to do, I mean all you do is you you, you take your your metallic what you're wanting to use and then you kind of get it at an angle and you're just drawing across and that's pretty much it and you're just trying to get that chipping effect so they're very bright and colourful. I really like them. I, I really like these models. As I say, they were from eBay. They're 3D printed. They're not technically official, but um, I, don't, I don't mind. They they do the job, fit purpose. They look great with these. Uh, with the rest of the infantry. Um, as I say, uh, Epic Forty. If you type in Epic Orc Battle Wagons, you'll come across them. Um, I think you get eight for eight ninety nine, so it's about a pound each <coughs> when you work it out. So, no, it's not going to break the bank, unlike the originals. <laughs> if you want the original kind of ramshackle looking versions of these that they that they did, or by all means, as I said earlier on, these it, I mean these these or a dime a dozen. You shouldn't pay very much for any of these because there's billions of them out there. But, as I say, we're about halfway done with painting the snake bites now, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, next, I think I might do a video on these and get these painted up, which are the big guns. So, for snake bites, these are squid catapults. 
the riddle on tracks mobile catapults with two little towers and yeah these are going to be next to be painted i've got five of them so come back for another video another time and we'll do that but as i say we're about halfway done with this army now which is quite nice another another thing to tick off the list now anyway, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that dead easy to paint trucks i've done multicolored here if you were doing I don't know, let's say Evil Sons, you would just pick out red mostly. Where I've picked out like blues and yellows and greens, you would just pick out reds over your metallics. It's that easy. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.